Shalyn was, you know, she was 22 and she was in school full time to become an RN. She had been recovering from a torn ACL in her leg. She had had an MRI done before she left, knowing that she was transitioning jobs. She drove 20 plus hours to get over here on that leg injury. It wasn't severe at that point. But when she arrived, she kept on saying, look at my leg, mom, and all the time. Look, it's a different color and it's swollen. And when I left, I got a phone call from her. She was playing around and then she had fallen on that same leg. For her to be in as much pain as she was in, that was like, okay, yeah, this, we need to go to the hospital. They were asking her for her insurance. Shalyn had mistakenly replied no when they asked her if she had it. I'll never forget the tone of her voice when she called me. She's like, mommy, I'm begging them for something for this pain. It hurts so bad. And I'm begging them for some testing to see what's wrong. I asked them for an MRI and they told me I need to go get insurance and see a specialist because they're not a doctor's office. They failed to notice that there was a blood clot. I think it was a week or two weeks later, she had to fly back to Kansas City. And you know, when you get into a plane, the cabin pressure, causes, you know, can cause a blood clot to dislodge. And it went into her lungs and caused a massive pulmonary embolism. She had a clot so massive that it was from her ankle up to her groin. <laughs> when the time came, I got up into bed with her. I was there with her when she took her first breath. And I was gonna be with her when she took the, her last. And as she died, I whispered to her, I love you so much. And I promise you, you will not have died in vain. I had made attempts to contact the hospital. No one was really interested in, in speaking. And pretty much it was, we gave the best service for Shalyn. We did everything that we're supposed to do. One of the things that really struck out to me as I was searching um, for reasons why Shalyn died, I ran across studies after studies of the discrepancies in outcomes for black and brown women versus white women. As, as a medical community, there needs to be a lot more attention to these discrepancies, that she had all of these things that made her higher risk for a blood clot were not taken into an account. She was black, she had sickle cell trait, she had PCOS, she was on birth control, she was overweight, and she had a red swollen leg. She had all these symptoms, she didn't, they didn't check for a blood clot, and instead of them doing the necessary test required, they did what is called a wallet biopsy. And they essentially sent my daughter to her death. How would you feel if it was you, that's the guiding principle you should be thinking about. How do you change going forward? We all know that companies have mitigated risk and risk assessment. We need to stop thinking of it that way. And especially healthcare facilities. These are people's lives. I would say treat your patients like they're your family. Treat it as if you were in that situation to where you would lose your sister, your daughter, or your mother. Don't discriminate towards people. If they're saying they need help, help them like you're supposed to. If you go into the medical field, you should have that passion to help save people, live up to that passion and save everyone no matter what, and treat them as if they were your family. How would you want your family or your loved one to be treated? So not only is it the, the moral thing to do, but from a business standpoint, I think you're absolutely nuts if you're not reaching out to patients and trying to better what's happening in your facility and stopping the needless deaths. Not stopping it down by a percent, but to none, to none. The sad thing is that when I got Shalyn's phone after she died, I was looking through what she had been doing. And because she had been so embarrassed and so demoralized, instead of going to a hospital immediately, as she had been told she needed to get insurance, she was looking up signs of a heart attack hours before she called an ambulance. 
hours. <laughs>